Marina, where are you? Irina, what happened? Irina, what happened? Irina, I warned you. Author of her life. Part one. So tell me, what did you see? Hmm, okay. I was walking along the street mm -hmm. and saw a car leaving mm -hmm. the house. All of this is very strange. He was the only one here. You can't contaminate anything. He's the only suspect. What do you think about that, huh? Max Lawrence, you have to come with us. I need to ask you some questions. What do you mean? Ah, I get it. You think I'm the killer, right? <laughs> but I was the one who called you. You have nothing on me and you know it. Well done. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence, you need to come with us as you were the first one to arrive here. We need you to tell us exactly what happened. In the meantime, you need to stay calm. From what we can see here, there are no signs of breaking, and no traces of violence on the body of the victim. We need to figure things out, and you are the only one who can help us. Okay, I get it. Relax. <clears throat> Relax. I need to make a call. Sit down. Call whom? One woman. No, you can't. She's my nephew's nanny. He doesn't have anybody but me. Please, come on, guys. Okay, call her, but do it quickly. Hello? Kate, this is Max. Uh, I'm sorry for calling after a... What is it? I'm sorry to tell you, but... Arena's dead. Irina's dead? Kate, can you do me a favor, please? Would you... stay with Ian for some time? Sure. And tell him that... I love him. Of course. Irina, open the door. It's probably the nanny. Uh -huh. You open it. Irina, if you don't open, she's going to leave. Hire a new one. Sorry, come on in. Thank you. Hello. Are you Max Lawrence? Yes, and you are? I'm Kate, the nanny. Kate, nice to meet you. Uh, there is Ian's room. He's still sleeping. The next room is yours. My wife will show you the rest, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, excuse me, I'm in a hurry. I gotta go. Feel at home.
Well, good luck. Uh, do you want to see my referrals? Let me see. You know, I will take them to my office, mm -hmm. and I'll look at them later. Okay. Irina, Nanny's here. Come here, please. Yeah, yeah. Have a nice day. Hello. I'm Kate, your new nanny. You must be in. Nice to meet you. You have a beautiful room. Go furnish it. Your mom, I guess. I don't bite, you know. Well, hello. My name is Irina Lawrence. I am Max's wife. Nice to meet you. I'm Kate Vernon. Mm. Why are you still in bed? Wake up. You'll be late for school. Don't yell at me. If you allow me, I can take care of this. What's that? Oh, yeah. Now you have someone to take care of you. Let's see for how long. Is she your mom? Of course not. She's my aunt. Your aunt? Don't you know anything? Actually, almost nothing. You know... Max is my uncle. This witch is his wife. She can't stand me. And you're the fourth nanny while I'm here. And my mom... My mom died. I'm very sorry to hear that. I almost don't remember her. She died in a car accident. No, turn away. I'm gonna change clothes. It's time for school. Do you want me to leave? No need to. I'll be quick. You can check my books if you want. You have very nice books here. So tell me, your dad... Uh... No. Why are you so curious? I'm not gonna tell you anything. <laughs> Just wanna know you better. How long have you lived here? I don't know. But not for long. My uncle is good with me. He's strict, always at work, constantly running somewhere. My aunt doesn't love him. I know that for sure. And I don't like her either. That's it. I'm ready now. We can go to school now. Why do you say she doesn't love I him? I can see that. She's only here for his money. Do you think that I'm just a kid who doesn't get it? By the way, thanks for saving me. She has a really bad mood in the mornings. You're a smart kid. I think we're gonna be good friends. You think so? Okay, let's have some breakfast or you're gonna be late. Good morning, boss. So what's up? Wanna see me? Come on in. Well, let's say I have good news. Did they send the contract? Yes, just now. You know, I checked. I think everything is fine. Just in case, give it to our lawyers. Let them take a look and if everything is okay, then we'll sign it. Hmm. Yeah, of course, I'll do everything. Well done, Max. This is a great deal. Come on, don't be modest. If it wasn't for you and your talent, nothing would have worked out for us. You're welcome. So, we will sign and have a little celebration? 
Yeah, why not? How are you doing in school? You like it? It's okay, I guess. Today I have a lot of homework. Do you need help? No, I can't handle it. But why do you work as a nanny and not as a dentist, huh? I don't know. Everyone finds its place in life. For example, I like being a nanny. I see. But I want to be a businessman like my uncle. Oh, businessman's cool. And what does he do in his business? An advertising company. Yeah, I heard it's good business. Mmm, I told you, you are so smart. I'm not only smart, but I am fast too. Try to catch me up. <gasps> Wait for me. Ian, go wash your hands. Okay. Ian, how many times do I have to tell you that you're not allowed to come in here? I, I didn't know you were here. So when I'm not here, you come in anyway? I think he did nothing wrong. Listen, are you going to teach me how to behave in my own house? Ian, go to your room. I didn't mean to upset you. I thought... You thought? Just listen to me. You are hired as a nanny. You will think elsewhere and you will only take care of the child. You're getting paid for that. Understood, Miss Kate? Your bets, please. Betting's in place, no more bets. Thirty-five black. Shit, shit, shit! Your bets, please. Shh. That's it? You already lost a lot? <sighs> Leave me alone. Maybe I'll get lucky this time. <sighs> mm -hmm. No more bets. Thank you. Everything is delicious. We walked to the park today after school. Mm -hmm. Kate promised me we would go again. Will you come with us? Well, why not? Walking in the park is always a good idea. Kate, do you know where my wife is? She left and didn't say where, Mr. Lawrence. Okay. <laughs> Ian, stop doing that, please. Ian, I told you to stop, or you will go to your room. Obey your father. I'm not doing anything.
Mr. Lawrence, you didn't have to yell at him. He was waiting to see you. He wanted to tell you about our walk in the park. But you didn't listen. You yell at him and make him feel bad. You didn't have to do that. What makes you think I wanted him to feel bad? I just wanted him to behave during dinner. Well, of course you did. So he would sit quietly and not say a word at all. He loves you, you know? And you push him away. What makes you think I'm pushing him away? I just feel that way. Kate, you're not my nanny. I'm just telling you what I feel. Listen, are you forgetting why you're here? Is it not enough for you to educate Ian? It's your first day at work and you know, you're becoming really annoying. You don't have to talk to me like that. Well, come on then, please enlighten me with your teaching experience. How dare you? Come on, I'm all ears. <sighs> I think it's time for you to stop. You've been having a bad streak tonight. Are you worried about my money? Stop, my money. Well, since I gave you money, I have to be sure you give it back to me. I will. I know that you and Max are doing very well. I have my shares, but I will sell them if he doesn't give me money. He will never let his wife be broke. You can pawn your shares and take a loan. I have a banker friend. If you want, you can get one with low interest. I'll think about it. I feel the weather's gonna be bad today. I'm not sure I got a sunburn today. Max, why haven't you introduced me to this beautiful, mysterious stranger? Oh yes. This is Alex, my friend and partner. I'm Kate, Ian's nanny. Nice to meet you, Kate. So you are the one who finally found common ground with Ian, right? <sighs> Listen, let me tell you a big secret. Max is very happy with you, let alone Ian, of course. Let's have a drink. Don't you agree? To the beautiful ladies. Mmm, Kate, have you Uncle, already experienced the dictatorial essence of this family? Mm. Alex, what are you talking about? Stop fooling around. Well, yes, sort of, but everything is good now. Hey, excuse me. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, my friends, I think the food is amazing. And you know why? Because you have an incredible assistant to help you with it. Am I right? You know very well this is Max's hidden talent. <laughs> it's just a pity he doesn't do it that often. Flatter me. I'm in a good mood. Kate, why are you so quiet? Everything is so delicious. I was just enjoying it. Bravo. What is that you have in your wrist? Where do you get it? Ladies, it's an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Kidding. It's a lucky bracelet. Bracelet. Oh, bracelets. Yeah. You know, Alex has always been unique when it comes to fashion and elegance. Mm-hmm, she's right. Do you like it? Yeah, it's very beautiful. Thank you.
We have been in the business for... A long time? 15 years. Wow. We need to have a drink. So our relationship will be successful. Thank you for your partnership. Let's cheer for that. I hope we'll grow together. Yes, of course. Sounds good. Gentlemen, cheers. Cheers. Oh, please. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a drink. Would you please go talk to her for me? Ah, uh, yes. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. Excuse me, please. Sure. Sure. Oh, and so okay. we actually need to uh, be focusing on <laughs> You are very cute. <laughs> well, stop it. <laughs> but you're right. Good evening. Hello. 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 Meet my friend. He is also single, by nice the way. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go over here. Yeah, well, it's a real pleasure to actually get to know you. Yeah. Irina, are you okay? Of course. I have a question. Why are you here instead of Max? I haven't seen my husband next to me since we got here. <clears throat> Shh. He's been busy talking to some investors. Listen, we have a very important deal here. Really? Yes. The wife always takes last place in his life. Whiskey! Don't drink too much. And please stay here. Now let's have a toast. Let's drink Cheers. to that. at the bar, go there and calm her down. Excuse me, please. Be right back. <sighs> Honey, are you okay? I'm good, thanks. But if you give me money, I will be great. <laughs> What money? What do you need money for? I need money! A lot of money! Stop it! Why are you doing this to me? Get your hands off me! <laughs> you never have time for me. Making business all the time, caring for everybody else. Calm down. <laughs> we'll talk later. Just go home. No need to! I'll go by myself. Um, it's Sorry. Okay. It happens. Uh, music, please! Don't worry, I'll take her. I'll be back later. Thank you. We have already sold out 5,000 copies. And we intend to continue our cooperation with you. It promises to be very, very successful. Have you started your new book yet? Yes. I have something. So tell me about it. It's about... It's like a modern Jane Eyre story. Very interesting. And the poor nanny will eventually fall in love with her employer, won't she? <laughs> of course. That is great. Just be quick. I will give you two months. It will be a great book. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to have dinner with me? I would love to, but I have to go now. Thank you very much. Goodbye.
easy, easy, easy. That's it. That's it. Be careful. Watch your step. Do you think he suspects anything after what happened at the casino? Did you hear me? I don't think so. I said I was with a friend. I lost a lot tonight. I didn't have time to play more. Huh. So what if we play a little right now? <laughs> no! Wait! No! No, 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 please! Don't do it! Let me go! No! Please! Someone can see us! Let me go! Go back. Your boss is waiting for you. Good morning. Max, I need to talk to you. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. You can tell me about it tonight. It won't take long. Well, let's hear it then. What's so important? Money. Honey, I just gave you a lot of money. I already spent it. Mm -hmm. If you don't stop, I'm not going to give you any money anymore. You're saying you're not going to give me money? No, no, it's not the point. It's just that you're drinking too much. Lorena, dear, please stop drinking. It's very bad for your health. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go. Look at you. Can you hear yourself? Don't think I can't see how you look at the nanny. What on earth are you talking about? How can you think of all these stupid fantasies? Arena, I beg you. Pull yourself together. I have huge problems. That's it. I'll talk to you later. How did you let this happen? Are you out of your mind? I'm very sorry, Max. You're the head of marketing. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. Boss Rage? But Max. Who's there? He's with Teresa. Max, I told you it's not my fault. You have to control your department. How could you possibly let this happen? What were you thinking about? Alex, come on in. What's wrong? What happened? Can you imagine? We've been preparing for this deal for two months. And she published all the details in the newspaper. She went public. I check everything. I wrote a completely different text. Your actions have caused a huge damage to the company. And you will have to pay for it. You're fired. You don't work here anymore. Max, please listen to me. Get out of my office now! Teresa. I don't understand why you don't even want to listen to me! Teresa. Alex, please! It Teresa. wasn't my Max fault! Max told it you to go, me. so please, let's Just go! Just go now! Alex will listen to you! <laughs> Alex, please listen to me! We'll figure everything out.
Hello. And you? Are you mute, kid? If you live here, at least say hello to me. I... Yeah, go say hello. Hey. What? Let me go! Answer me! Let You're not asking you a question! Let the child go! You're let hurting him! Now. I won't let you hurt him! How dare you tell me what to do? You will pack your stuff and get out of here right now! You understand? Mr. Lawrence hired me, and he's the only one who can fire me. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? I don't want to disrespect you, but you were hurting Ian, and I will not let you hurt him again, okay? <laughs> for everything. It's okay now. Don't worry, honey. Everything's gonna be okay. Why did she have to punch me? I did nothing wrong, but she punched me anyway. Don't worry. I think she was not feeling well today. What if I don't want to say hello? Am I not a person? Why do I have to do what she tells me to do? You have to. She worked for eight years in our company. She was head of department and screwed us over, huh? Can you imagine? There's nothing we can do now. We need to think. One thing is clear. We've already lost the contract. The clients just called me. I've already ordered some stuff. <laughs> but we have no money to pay for it. What if we ask for a loan? Are we still good for one? No, I don't think so. We still have a lot of debts. Oh, why does this have to be so hard? Crap. Thing is, we need a lot of money. 300,000. Where are we gonna get this money? Tell me. I have people who can help us get it. But we need guarantees. What kind of guarantees? <sighs> I'm afraid. You're not gonna like my idea. Come on, say it. You can sell part of our company's shares. <laughs> yeah. Great idea. I have nothing to say. I, I know. But what other options do we have? Okay. Call your people. You know. I once really wanted a child. And when I got pregnant, that I, I have to get rid of him. The doctor said I would never be able to have children again. <laughs> and I never, you know, I will never forgive myself for listening to him. The mobile number you're trying to reach is either turn off or outside the coverage area. The mobile number you're trying to reach is either turn off or outside the... He always looked at me like a price. <laughs> you made your choice. When Max and I both offered to date you, you chose him. <laughs> 
This will calm you down. What is this? A receipt for the money I'm giving you. Hello, do you mind if I join you? Of course not. This is your house? <laughs> well, what do you need a piece of paper for? Are you going to write a letter to Grandma? No. Ian has some homework to do. He's smart, but he gave it to me to do it. But it turns out you're not so smart? <laughs> you want to give it a try? Yeah, sure. What is it? You have to write words which can be read from right to left and left to right in every column and every line. It's not a problem. You know, we are a very smart family. <laughs> I've noticed. You have very beautiful eyes, Kate. Are you leaving? Have I offended you? No, of course not. I am very glad that you... That I... Did Ian's homework? Um, good night. doing awake when it's this late at night? I can sleep. Oh, really? I think I have insomnia. When you are older than 70, then we will discuss your insomnia. In the meantime, you can count ship. Yes, I counted 20,000. Tell me, what are you writing? I will tell you. But this is going to be a secret between us. We have a deal? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm writing a book. And I take notes in my notebook so that I don't forget what comes to mind. Great. And what's the book about? About a boy and his nanny. About you and me? Well, almost. Only that they live in another city and they have different names. So you're not a nanny. You're a writer. Exactly. Okay, come on. Let's get rid of your insomnia. What are you doing dressed like that? You come home this late from don't know where? Are you drunk again? Where were you? At the bar. With friends. 
We had a bachelorette party. Can't I? Of course you can, but I'm tired now. <clears throat> hey, I missed you so much. Are you? No longer interested in me as a woman? Of course I am. But not now. Please go to sleep. I was looking for my earrings today. The ones with diamonds? Did you happen to see them by chance? Let's look for them tomorrow. But now I need to sleep. Uncle Max, why didn't Anurina come with us? Well, you know, she doesn't feel good as she decided to stay home. Fighting! It's fighting! Uh, catch it quickly! No, no. Well, they ate the worm that I had. I didn't save them. That's okay. Look, here's one in the jar. Take it. I feel sorry for him. He's like... Like who? Like a human. It is big and not like a worm. He, he's already grown. He's bigger than the rest. I better let him go. Kate, is this your upbringing? No, it's his nature. Well, did you catch a fish or not, fisherman? So eat the sandwiches. Let's have them. Yeah. Well, well. Wait, wash your hands first. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wash them. <laughs> uh. Now help me. Pour water. Pour, pour, pour. <laughs> oh! oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't catch me up, you won! <laughs> oh, come here, you crazy little guy! <laughs> hey, no, stop! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There, I got you! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get up! Oh, no! You got me! Author of Her Life, Part 2. How is your fish? Still alive? I will buy an aquarium for it. Yes, Uncle Max? Will you buy it for me? I have to. I'm the one that got you this fish. I think we need to get together more often. You agree? I will put it in a jar, okay? Okay, okay.
You have brought so much happiness to him. <laughs> and to myself, too. Hey. How are you? How are you feeling? Fine. Did you have fun? <laughs> we did. It will live in the jar. I'll feed it with crumbs. Ian, I'm about to have a very serious conversation with your uncle. Go to your room. Why? Go, I said. Let's go, Ian. Kate, stay. Irina, what happened? I have had suspicions about our nanny for a long time. Are you talking about Kate? I mean exactly this person. The nanny. Explain yourself. What do you mean to say? You know I lost my earrings some time ago. You told me to look for them. And so I did. I've looked for them everywhere. While you three were having fun. I'm sorry. Uh. I had to look into her room. You went looking through her stuff? How could you? Calm down. I'm not as good as you are. Especially when I found them. It's not true. That's impossible. And that's not all. I also found out that she's spying on us. She has a notebook in which she writes everything that happens in our home. This can be very harmful to your business, Max. Is that enough for you? Or what other evidence do you need? Aren't you making it up? Kate, why are you silent? It's not true! Kate could not take anything! She couldn't! I know she's writing a book! You don't understand anything! Ian, Ian, please calm down. Go to your room. You don't need to listen to this. I hate you! Please just go. What else is she gonna say? Here, read this. Kate, what is this? I demand explanations. Why are you silent? Is this all true? Kate, tell them! Tell them! Tell them! It's not true! It's not Ian, true! Ian, calm it's down! Not true. Calm down! It's not true. Ian, please calm down! I think you have to leave our house right now. What? You're fired. No, it's not true! It's not! This is enough, dear. Just come here. And you go get your stuff. Let me go! Satisfied? You're evil! You're a bad person! You lie to everyone that you're kind! Here's your horrible bad fish! I don't want it! <laughs> Ian! Well, are you going to ask me for forgiveness? <laughs> you really hate me, don't you? But I'm here, not your mother. 
You're stuck with me, like it or not. You're not my mom! Get out of my room now! I don't want to see you anymore! <sighs> you talk to me like this? Well, I'm taking care of your education from now on. And no more nannies. I hate you! You're the worst! You can go back to your Alex! <sighs> what? What did you say? I want Kate to come back! You go or I will tell my uncle about you and Alex! Ah! <laughs> oh, you little shit! Let me go! You Let little me go! Shit. Let me Don't go! Don't you threaten me! Stop! Hey, Reed, are you crazy? You're gonna stop it from me. here! Oh, I said stop it! No! I don't want to die down. anymore! I hate you! I hate you all! I Calm hate you! Calm down, go. please! Mommy, Let go of me! Mommy. Let go of me! You're completely out of your mind! Calm down and sit here! Can you calm down and please talk to me? Get your hands off me! Get them off! Great. Let's get a divorce. Have a good offer for the division of property. Calm down. <laughs> calm Why are you down, at me I like said. That? You don't like it? Do you? The boy can stay with you. But I I want everything else. I want I want the shares. If not, I'll sell them to you. I'll sell you my shares, okay? Calm down, Irina. No. Don't tell me to calm down. That's enough. No. Irina, stop. Enough. Please, just calm down and let's talk. We've already talked about everything. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. Just get Irina, off Irina, get back here. <laughs> Hi, my love. Hey, what do you want? Nothing, really. I just wanted to call you. I was thinking about you. What I want? I, I wanted to see you. See me? Did something happen? I need to talk to you as soon as possible. Can you come to my summer home? I'll wait for you there. Yeah? What about Max? Max? No, he's not coming. Um... Just come meet me, please. I'll I'll wait for you there. Ian, call your uncle. Never. He's worried. Do you feel sorry for him? He hurt you. It doesn't matter now. Please call him. For me. Yes? It's me. Ian, where are you? At Kate's home. How did you get there? Why did you run away? Are you crazy? I already called your friends. I was going to call the police. Don't yell at me. Aunt screams, then you scream. I'm not a punching bag. I'm just a kid. <sighs> okay, dear, I'm sorry. I'm just very nervous. Listen, tomorrow... We should sign documents on the adoption. You need to make up with Irina, okay? Never. What? She doesn't love us. Not you, not me. Why? Why do you think so? What are you making it up? Put Kate on the phone right now. Ian! Oh, damn it!
everything here? Yes. Okay. We're even. You asked me to be with you, and... I want to now. Now I've changed my mind. I don't need you anymore. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that? Everything you said about our love... Is it lie? Hmm. So you never really loved me? Did you? Certainly not in that way. At first I wanted you. Then a more profitable idea came into my mind. You took me to the casinos. You had fun. You got me in debt. And now, Max warned me about you. I warned you too. To hell with all this. I'm gonna go to Max right now and I'm gonna tell him about all this. I'm gonna tell him. Will you tell him about your lover? I'll tell him. To destroy you, I'll do anything. <laughs> Sit down. Uh, uh. Calm down. Are you scared? We're in the same boat now. So keep your mouth shut, okay? You're a beautiful woman. You'll find someone else. And now shut up, because soon your hubby will have no one to go to. Your shares are mine. And I'll have the controlling stake. The controlling stake? Even with my shares, you only have like 50% of the company. Hmm, well done, well done. You're always good at money. But you don't know that your lovely Max had to sell 10%. I advised him to. But he didn't know that I bought him. So it turns out, honey that I have the controlling stake. You can't do anything. Do you understand? Bastard! Arena. Oh, shit. Hello? It's me. Listen. Arena has gone somewhere. I called her, she doesn't pick up. You know where she is? I'm so nervous about her. Well, don't worry. Maybe she's hanging out with friends. I've already called everyone. Maybe she left... to the summer house. Maybe she wanted to be alone after your quarrel. Where are you now? I'm going there now. I'll be there in ten minutes. And I'll go check the clubs. Maybe she's hanging out with someone. Stay in touch. Okay, bye. Ian, now we will go home. I'll take you there and, and stay for a few days with you. Are you coming back? Uncle Max will be away for a time. We will be alone. Alone? Without Uncle Max? Mm-hmm. 
And there won't be here either. Did she leave Uncle Max? Finally. She died. She died? She deserved it. You can talk that way about people, even if they weren't good to you. Okay, I understand. But she was really bad. She deceived Uncle Max. One time, when Alex came home with her, I was awake and saw them kissing. What? Did Irina kiss Alex? Mm-hmm. Tell me when. I don't remember. Not so long ago. You don't believe me? I told her about that when she kicked you out. She almost killed me. I believe you. I'm just thinking... I'll say it again. Arena was dead. Dead, you know? The door had been open. I came in and found her on the floor. She showed no signs of life. I confirmed that. I called the police. That's it. Can I have a cigarette? Well, we searched the whole house and found nothing special. But we found some notes in the victim's car. How much and who lent her? By the way, here's a loan agreement for Irina Lawrence. Hmm, well that is something. So, your wife wasn't dead. Uh, what is this loan agreement? Can you explain? I don't know anything about debts or loans. But my wife lost a lot of money in the casino, that's a fact. The passion was stronger than her. What is it called? Gambling or what? And she drank a lot of alcohol. I've never denied her anything before. I gave her money, bought her expensive clothes, fur coat. I bought her a car. Well, then she didn't know any boundaries to her requests. And I decided to cut off her expenses for a time. I thought it may help. So she gambled a lot. You got mad. We understand that, you know. We're men. It's annoying to work to pay her debts. So you got tired of her and killed her. Boom, unintentional Why murder. do you understand everything wrong? I, won't give you I didn't kill her. I didn't kill her. I didn't Quiet. kill her. Quiet. Quiet. What do you work? What is it that you do? I have my own business. Mr. Lawrence? Hmm? A man from the prosecutor's office is here to see you. Yes, of course. Let him in. Good afternoon. Hello. Investigator Ockelshaw. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Please, sit down. What's the matter? Tell me. How well do you know Lawrence? That is, Max Lawrence. Yes, sir. He's my boss. What happened? <laughs> what is it about? Max Lawrence has been detained as a murder suspect. Murder? Mm-hmm. What happened? Yesterday evening, Irina Lawrence's body was found at Max Lawrence's summer house. Holy shit. Tell me, did you happen to know Irina Lawrence well? We... We're not only partners, but also friends. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, at first we were friends. Then we became partners. And of course, we were on friendly relations with Irina, his wife. What kind of relationship did they have? A good one. But recently, of course, there was some stress. Yeah? What was that all about? Max and Irina have their nephew, Ian. Max wanted to adopt him, but Irina was not happy about the child. And then, 
Well, now I understand. Now it's clear. What do you mean? She drank a lot. Complained that her husband did not give her money, you know? But now I understand that these debts... She also told me about the adoption. Well, according to Max Lawrence's testimony, you hold 30% of the company's shares. And what's this question for? <laughs> I just wanted to clarify it. Why? Is there something bothering you? Well, no. I think you already know everything. I have 30%, 50% for Max, and 20% of shares for Irina. Did Max and his wife own the controlling stake of the company shares? Exactly right. So you must know that he recently sold 10% of his stock. Yes, I suppose that he would do that. It was the only way. The only way for what? Well, we had a small problem. Our marketing department posted an article in the newspaper that contained confidential information about the construction company's store. Of course, the signing of the contract failed. Therefore, Max had to sell part of our shares. Did you find who did this? Of course. The head of the marketing department was fired. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Ah, one last question. You wouldn't know anything about Irina's love interests, or would you? No, I know nothing. They were a good couple. Hmm. You did say they had a complicated relationship, didn't you? Well, family life doesn't exist without difficulties. That's what I think. Hmm. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Have a nice day. Goodbye. You talked about one text, and they printed another one in the newspaper? Yes. This text was sent from my computer, do you understand? But why didn't you tell Lawrence about what had happened? Mr. Lawrence is very hot-tempered, and he didn't even listen to me. He told Alex to sort out this case. And? And I told Alex all about it. Uh, and after our conversation, he told me not to say anything, you know? That it will make everything worse with my speculations, and scared me with a sanction. I didn't know what to do. Am I in trouble? Okay, we cleared everything. Thank you. You can go now. But she really loved her first daughter. Even the girl was rude, ugly, and lazy. That is why people called her sloth. The carpenter lived with his daughter in a small house under a straw roof. His wife died. Johan grieved for her a long time. He could not be comforted, but the time passed. Johan decided to marry his neighbor. Moreover, she had a daughter of the same age as his own daughter. Is Uncle Max back? I hope it's him. Stay here. I'll open the door. Uncle Max, is that oh, you? Oh, hello, Ian. Hello. Kate, I will go to my room. Of course. Go draw something. Is he worried? Actually, he came for a couple minutes to ask how you were doing. Maybe you need something? No, thank you. Ian and I are doing fine. I hope Max will be back home soon. I talked to the detective. Well... He asked me some questions. 
You know, I think they have already decided everything. Yeah. He's in a lot of trouble. Max is not guilty. I'm sure he couldn't have done this. Sorry, I have to... The human heart is a mystery. Who knows what happened there? Well, I'll go. If you need something, money or something else, call me, don't hesitate. Really, anything, anything at all. I'll be here for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Where's your wonderful lucky bracelet? Bracelet, eh? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, it ripped apart. I didn't have time. To get it repaired, you know? Yeah. Hey, did you tell the detective that you were Irina's lover? What nonsense are you talking about, dear Kate? What do you mean? It's nonsense. Because you've been in this house for just about a week, and I've known Max for more than 10 years. Do you really think that I can't find another woman? Of course you can. Mm. It is possible to have a woman and be the lover of your friend's wife. I'm saying this because I know. Ian saw you kissing Irina. Funny. And you believe the kid? They didn't get along with Irina. They quarreled. So he made it up. Don't believe him. Do you understand? You are a smart woman, dear Kate. You really surprise me. Bye. Mr. Lawrence. You may go now. But I have to ask you not to leave the city. I wasn't going to. Well, that's good. This is what I'm thinking, Lawrence. Is there a way that... Your last name is giving you bad luck? I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean. Hmm. <laughs> you lost your wife, Mr. Lawrence. Maybe your business, too. Do you already know who my wife Tiller is? I have my suspicions. I'll let you know. Come on, I'll walk you out. Thank you, my friend. Bye. Kate!
Ian, I need to go to your summer house. Stay where you are. I'll be back soon, Kate. What are you doing here? Sorry, I have to go. Ian is home alone and he'll be scared if I'm not up. You should have stayed home. And don't go out alone at night. You know something? I said you were smart. Did you find it? Of course. You knew. You knew what to look for, unlike the cops. Did you find it? Tell me, did you find it? <gasps> Give it to me! Stop! Stop! I told you! <sighs> I told you. Get up. <sighs> Come here. Get up. <sighs> Well, hello, Alex. Hey. You didn't expect this from me, did you? Did you think you could hide this? So tired of you, boss. Chief! <clears throat> now you can say goodbye to your business. It'll be mine soon. Uh-huh. First you will go to jail for murder, and then you'll rot there. <laughs> Are you all right? <sighs> Max. Max. Look what I found in the house. Well done. It's okay. Max, be careful! Drop the knife!
Thanks for the right. Thank you. You risked your life. I didn't know you were released. Kate, will you come back? No. You fired me. Forgive me, Kate. I already did. Goodbye, take care. Wait, wait! Kate! Open the door. Please open the door. We need to talk. Please. <gasps> I love you, Kate. Did you do your homework? Yes. Do I need to check? No need. Are you sure? Sure. What are you reading? Did you take my book? Yes, it's an interesting book. Where do you get it? Kate wrote this book, I told you. I bought it in the bookstore on the corner, and you didn't believe me. I apologized. Give it to me. I got it specially for you. Here, listen. The owner was a very good person, unrestrained and rude, but when he smiled, everything was forgotten. And they all loved them. It's about you. <laughs> Uncle Max, I miss Katie. Why doesn't she just come back? She probably didn't forgive me for not believing her. How could she know that if you didn't ask her? Why don't we go and find her? <laughs> a good idea for a third grader. Let's go to hers on the weekend. Listen, I like your idea. What do you think if we go right now? Let's go.
well as the coffee ready? Everything's ready. Thank you. Mm. How's the remodeling going? <sighs> Horrible. I ordered kitchen tiles ages ago. They promised to bring it a week ago, and we're still waiting. I see. So you're not so quick to let Saha go, right? And shouldn't Ira and Vadim be out of here by now? Tell me, is it so bad with them here? <laughs> hmm? Oleg, why hmm. don't you sit down and have a proper breakfast? Oh, mm -hmm. I can't. I, I, I have four surgeries and a patient before the inspection. So... How can you help everyone if you don't take care of yourself? Well, not everyone, but the ones I can. Uh, well, I'm going. I'll see you later. See you soon. Bye. Bye. What? Oh. Ooh. Got busted so easily. Tell oh, me goodness. About it. How quaint. Mm. How blonde. <laughs> Still comforting your patients on your chest, I see. Listen, I've grown a hard shell over my chest through the years. Hmm. Well, enjoy your coffee. They're all going to be up any time now. And it's going to be a madhouse. <laughs> I love my madhouse. Bye. Bye. See you tonight. An hour before the spring, part one. Ira, get out of there. Ira, you don't live alone in this house. I'm going to be late for class. The early bird catches the worm. Mom? She's been mm. in there for an hour. I won't even have time to wash my face. Anya, come on. Eat your breakfast. Don't you know Ira by now? She'll be out in a second. I just can't wait for the whole remodel to be over and done and to have them all move back to their place. Well, I just decided not to leave you and Mommy. I can see how you need your sister's strong hand around the house. Mmm, it smells good in here. Well, now I don't have time for breakfast or time to put on makeup. <gasps> Does our little girl have someone to put makeup on for? Mom, say something to her. Come on, girls. I don't have time for this. You're like children. Mm -hmm. Eat. I'll go wake up Sasha. Mm-hmm. Little Sasha. Mm. Mm. Sasha. Mm. My baby, wake up, wake up. Come on, like this. Here, we're awake. Hi. <laughs> well, I'll go get some breakfast, all right? Get up now. <laughs> Sasha, hurry up, I'm gonna be late for work. Uh, Hold on. Hold dang on. it. Who was that? That's Maslov. He's driving me nuts. We graduated school 12 years ago, and not a single call all these years. And now, there he is. He needs something, that's for sure. He wants to meet today, but I can't. Vadim's returning from the conference. Hold on. Pashka Maslov. My Pashka? Right. Your Pashka. I remember you painting your room with hearts, running after him all the time. Maybe you should meet up with him. Hmm? Sure, I'll go. Fine, then. Sasha? Unfortunately, your husband's surgery didn't garner an overwhelming positive outcome. But at least we managed to get rid of the acute pain syndrome. We'll try to prolong his condition as long as possible. As we've been expecting from the very beginning, there was no miracle for us this time. I completely understand. I'm endlessly grateful to you. All other doctors gave up after the first diagnosis. But you're giving me hope. Thank you. Poor lady. Still so young, but already chained to her disabled husband. Well, Kirishenko's pressure went up last night. We increased the dose of drugs. Oleg. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I heard everything. Well, I'm off to the inspection. I'll write up prescriptions later. Thank you.
recognize you. Hello. I remember you as a little girl. Damn. Skinny with pigtails. Ira couldn't go on a date because of you. You would always tack along. I haven't gained that much weight? No, I mean, you've, uh, blossomed. Oh. Uh, isn't Ira coming? Ira. Ira couldn't come. So, so the tack along came. Here I am. Uh, this is for you. Thank you so much. My mom doesn't even look like herself anymore. She's so helpless. Listen, I can't even imagine a girl like Maria helpless. I remember when she used to work in the parents committee. With my mom, everyone just used to start trembling. Whenever they were around her, they were so scared. Sorry for asking you right away. But Dr. Oleg is our very last chance. All other doctors refused to do surgery on her. I was able to book an appointment, but his schedule's booked for the next six months. So you can see how long before he'll be able to see us. And every day counts now. So I figured maybe you could... Don't worry about it. I'll talk to my dad about it. Everything's going to be fine. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Dr. Right, Oleg. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dr. Oleg. Goodbye. Have a good night. Good night. Hello. Oh, Sasha. Beautiful hi. family, huh? I see her meet the doctor every day, and I envy them. <clears throat> I picked up Sasha early from school. Uh huh. Vadim's coming today. I know. I need to discuss something with him. I just received the new samples from the laboratory. Listen, why don't we go for a walk, leave him and Ira together for a while? Uh, sure, fine, but Anya's also home. No, Anya's gone. Where did she go? Well, somewhere. But she has to study. She has her exams. Give so it how a come? break. For six years of her university studies, she has barely done anything else. Let her have Look, fun. Look, what fun. She's got her internship coming up really soon. What fun. Now's not the time. Oh. Sasha. Sasha. Come here. Come on. Let's go to the park and take a walk. To take the bookstore. Where? Grandpa promised me to to buy me a human atlas today. A human atlas, not a human atlas, an atlas of human anatomy. Sasha, I'm putting all my hopes in you. You'll make a great doctor. Really? That's for Sasha, sure. Sasha, are you gonna be a doctor too? <gasps> oh, another doctor in the all right. family. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, fine, here we go. I missed you so much. Era. By the way, I received a grant for clinical research. So you can congratulate us, me and the stem cells. <laughs> I'll congratulate you when they give you a lab in the University of California. Ira, I've got endless work to do here. How can I leave? But you promised me. You promised we would leave as soon as they offered you a position. Well, they're still not offering. No, but that doesn't make sense. No. Everyone's in America. But they don't invite you and you're head of the lab. That's because you're not strong enough. You help everyone but yourself. And your own family, right? You've given another one of your graduates a break. Someone with a small salary and a whole life ahead of him. 
Ira, you know very well how difficult it is now for young scientists. And we're fine here anyway. We don't need for anything. By the way, how's the remodel going? Is your mother managing? Are you helping her? Stupid remodel. Why did we even start it? Mom does everything. I don't even help her. I don't really care. We'll be leaving soon anyway. Right? Hmm? Where's Daddy? Sasha. Hold on. Here, here. Come on. Go on. Daddy, you're home! Yeah. Hi, Oleg. Hello, Adam. How was your trip? Oh, great. Dad, Grandpa bought me a book about a skeleton today. Oh, you don't Do you say. You You'll it? show me. I brought you a book, too, but this one's in English. We'll study it. <laughs> oh, let me. Did you have dinner already? No. No. Well, fine. Then we'll all sit and eat together. I've made your favorite pie, by the way. All right, let's Thank go you. eat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello? Yes. Hi. Fine. Fine. Sure, yes. I can. Yes, Ina, I can. I'll assist you. Fine. I'll come. Fine, got it. All right, I'll talk to you later. Hi, everyone. Ah, oh, hello, hello. Hi. Why are you so late? Forgot about your exams? No, you wouldn't let me forget. I won't. You know, I saw, uh, Pasha today. Ah, that's Ira's... Yeah, he's Ira's classmate. And? In short, um, he has a problem. His mother's very ill. Can you see to them? Well, of course. Hold on, is it Maria? Yeah. But she's very young. I know. Sure, let her come to admissions. Make an appointment, and I'll see her. Well, your schedule is booked for the next six months, and they need to see you right away. Anya, you two now? I do 10 surgeries a day. People do wait in line for months sometimes. I don't understand. What do I do? Oleg. What? I don't understand. Do I need to clone myself now? Fine, let her come at 7 in the morning on Tuesday. And make sure she's not late. I have the inspection at 8. Thank you, Daddy. You should go okay, study now. You know what? I want to go somewhere, just the two of us, I really do. Not the Sasha school play, but somewhere else, like before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. <sighs> sure. Sure. Fine, I won't bother you anymore. How can you not bother me if you're already bothering me so much tomorrow? Right. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't risk it. Well, it's a very difficult case, and there's risk, but also a chance. It's entirely your decision. I need to think about it. I don't want to lose my mom. I guess it's better to keep her the way she is. Thank you so much, Doctor. Mm. Doctor Oleg, can I call you later? Sure, of course. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. All the best. Would you take a risk? Mm? If I were in this young man's place, I would hold on to any possibility. By the way, Oleg, mm -hmm. congratulations. Your daughter has finally decided on her internship. Mm. I signed her application yesterday. You'll be seeing more of each other now. Great. She's a very clever and sensitive girl. I think she'll do just fine. Clever, clever. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Why aren't you at the university? I came here to support you. Thank you so much. You know, my head is spinning. I don't really know what to do. Your dad's willing to do surgery, but he also says that the risk is great. Well, if he's willing to do surgery, then... Then, um... Listen, 
Would it be okay if I went to see Maria? Of course you can. Come by any time. Mama will be happy to see you. Should I pick you up after the lecture and we can go together? Yeah, I'd love that. Hold on. Mm, yeah. Uh, Anya, I want you to meet Rita, my boss. Nice to meet you. So... And I, uh, yeah, I think I have to go. Yeah, let's keep in touch. Right. We're going to that meeting. Sure, the meeting. The meeting, no problem. See you. Bye. See you later. I'm your boss now? I thought it was your fiance. Rita, no offense to you. Anya was into me at school, and I'm not gonna disappoint the daughter of a famous surgeon. Probably the only one who can help my mother. Well, Pasha, you sure know how to use girls. This is just politeness. And yes, Dr. Oleg agreed to do the surgery. Thanks for asking. I'm sorry. How's mom? She's okay. And I closed a deal with a new client today. Which means there'll be a bonus. Hey. <laughs> well then, has Pasha made a decision yet? No, he's afraid. Well, Anya, you support him somehow. I'm trying. There's his boss. I met her today. Her name's Rita. Come on, she could be just his boss, you know? Mom, I'm not naive, you know? It's all right in front of me. It's very clear, okay? Look, you're just getting reacquainted and you're already jealous of other people. You know, jealousy is not a feeling that is always justified. It's complicated. Listen, Mom, you're not usually much of a philosopher, but somehow you got carried away with thinking now. Why would you do that? Well, I gotta go. Okay. Posh invited me to go. Rita's his boss, and it's time that I become a team player. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sasha, let me see that. <gasps> Hold on. Sasha, that's it. It doesn't hurt now, does it? I just don't want Mommy and Daddy to fight about me ever again. What do you mean again? Do they fight often? Yes, all the time. Mommy is going to ask me if I hit the boy back, and I didn't dare to do that. The teacher was the one who stopped the fight. If she didn't... I know I would have hit him back. Sure you would have. Do you even hear what I'm saying? That's it. I'm not listening anymore. <laughs> he can't fight back. All he does is read books. You want him to do nothing and not bother you while you're working? You won't play football with him or teach him how to fight or anything. Ira, stop yelling at me. I promise I'll go to the kindergarten and talk to that boy's father tomorrow. We'll have a serious talk. Right. How? Hit him with that stupid science book you wrote? Your family's so nice, Anya. So close knit. And Ira is such a fine girl. All the boys in the class were in love with her. And Pasha used to tell me all the time. And now, Ira's son is going to school. I also used to dream of seeing my grandchildren. You'll see them. I'm very sure that you will. Mom, why are you starting again? Let's be positive. We have a guest. Pasha, you better. Make Anya some tea. The kettle is probably boiling. Okay. He has to deal with everything. The house, the job, and his sick mother. What are you talking about? My dad thinks that you have a chance. He's willing to do the surgery. 
Anya, please, don't say it. I haven't decided yet. Pasha. Pasha, why didn't you tell me? Pasha, it's not up to you now. This is your mother's choice. Whether to take a risk or go on living like this. Anya, I don't want you to interfere with our life. Why are you doing this? I'm sorry, Mrs. Maria. I probably said too much already. Forgive me, please. I, I have to go now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anya. Goodbye. Anya. I'm sorry. Pasha, what is this? This is not good. Mom, don't start, please. I'll sort it out. Anya. Wait right there. Ira's just upset right now. Well, I even understand her. We have our home here, and uh, she doesn't want to bother me and Oleg. You see, soon I'll be done with the remodeling. You'll go back to your place, and everything will be back to normal. <sighs> right now, it is like it used to be. I have to admit that I simply irritate my wife. No, Adam, what are you talking about? No, of course not, no. Well, Ira's just like a, a firecracker. I remember she used to ride a bike dressed in leather when she was 14 years old. We used to search for her oh, all the time, me and Oleg. He worried terribly. She likes it all, you know? She likes when everything's upside down around her and she's in the spotlight. I don't know, perhaps you, you need to go out more often. I don't know, to clubs maybe. Mm. Well, it doesn't have to be clubs. No, cinema or theater or the opera. I'm just so afraid of losing my mom. You have to understand. I'm not like some kind of wimp. It's just that she spent her entire life raising me. She raised me all on her own. And now when I have an opportunity to give her a normal life, she... I wanted so much to take her to Paris. To show her the whole world. You have to decide, Pasha. I just can't. Look, she can't live like this anymore. She can't stand being a burden to you. My father's the best surgeon around, and he'll do everything in his power to help her. I'm so envious of your confidence. your husband. What can I do if he makes me mad all the time? Listen to me, honey. You won't find another husband as calm and as attentive as Vadim is with you. You know that. Attentive? Not a single flower in seven years. He loves his job and not me. And what are you talking about? He never gets out of his scientific bubble. He's a scientist. Oh, really? Really. Let, let's start with that. Oh, right. And I'm here to serve uh. him. What the hell, Mom? This might sound a little rude, but let's call it for what it is. You're not a picnic either, not by a long shot. Well, not everyone can be such a wonderful wife and bake cakes all day long like you. I never pretended to be perfect, you know. He didn't throw dust in your eyes either, and he didn't force you to marry him as far as I remember. No, no, right? he didn't. But I if mean, I had known what he was like, give me this that. one. Stale. I wouldn't have... I'm bored with him, Mom. What we have is not a What's life. What's not stale? You tell me. That Kolya guy? The guitarist? Ira. I understand all of it. I really do. 
Your marriage is going through the seven-year itch, missing the drive, right? Actually, Vadim is nice and calm, and above all, he's a very good father. Try not to think about it with emotion, just with your head. I think the main thing for you now is to save the family for Sasha. Or you won't forgive yourself later. Enough, Mom. Fine. I just had to blow off some steam. Sorry. I know Vadim is a great man, but he's exactly like my dad, and I chose him because of his similarity. Almost down to the age. But I don't need a second father. I need a husband. Here. Hello, Sophia. Yes. Did you see your husband? Yes. You don't look too good. He's just torturing me with all of his fads, Oleg. I know that he's sick, that he feels bad, but I can't do it anymore. Today is... Today is our wedding anniversary. Three years. Of these three years, only six months were good, happy ones. The rest are hospitals and wheelchairs. Come with me. Come. I'm glad you came. So what's with the blonde hair? Thank I don't so understand. Much. There's nothing serious about blondes. No, I was just wondering if you have any long-haired blondes in your department. Well, there is Alessia, but <laughs> I'm sure uh, she dyes her hair. You've got to be kidding about this, Alessia. How old is she? 78 or something? Well, she's... I see. <laughs> 75 or something. Her birthday's coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Are you jealous of Oleg? <sighs> oh, God. Not that I'm jealous at all. Oh, you're you not? Know, Ira and Vadim live with us now. I'm with Sasha all day and night. And I just don't have time to spend with Oleg, to tell you the truth. What a target mm. to pick. Patients lean on him by the dozens every single day. I know. Crying on his shoulder like schoolgirls. <laughs> but he's like a stone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll keep my eye on him. My eye is like a laser after Slava started hitting on graduates. Hmm. Well, cheers to lasers. To lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Drink all at once. Go ahead, drink. You really need it. <laughs> I just don't know what to do anymore. He's demanding that I dump him now. Stop wasting my life with a handicapped man. But how can I do that? He's just so helpless without me, you know? What shall I do? Hello there. Meet Sophia, and this is my wife, Tamara. Nice to meet you. And, uh, who's this Sophia? This is my patient's wife, I told you. No, you didn't. I would have remembered. Well, I've got a patient in serious condition. She's been selflessly taking care of him for three years. You're somehow excessively interested in this woman's fate. You have never used the word selflessly. I think it's only normal not to leave your dear ones when they're in distress, isn't it? Huh? Tamara, what's the matter? Are you jealous? Huh? Have I ever given you such a reason? I just feel sorry for this girl. I want to help her. You see, there could be no miracle for this diagnosis, but I could at least support her, right? Hmm? Let's go. Tamara, we're using this microscope mm. to look inside the tap water now. Papa said there's a lot of bacteria in there. Uh, how scary. Isn't it great that Dad bought me a microscope? That is totally great. That's great. So when's Mom coming back home? Sasha, she'll be late today. She has her final concert. Mm. Let's see. 
Let me look. <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take a look. I'm going in the shower. Okay. <sighs> See? Well, I can't go. It's my friend's birthday today. I already told you I was going, but it seems that you never listened to me. Ira, why can't you just go, congratulate your friend, and just leave the birthday party earlier? I can't. Well, uh, Tamara, Oleg, why don't you both go? It's a good play, and the tickets won't go to waste. Should we? We haven't been anywhere in ages. You have work tonight? Well, I'm going to be working until much later, and I won't make it on time anyway, and watching opera from the second act is kind of silly, so no, I don't think I can do it. I see. Well, well never mind. Forget about the tickets then. <laughs> I know what. Vadim, why don't you and Mom go? Please, what? Mom, don't say no. Well, that's a great idea, by the way. You've been dreaming of going to the theater for a long time, and Vadim will go with you, won't you? I wouldn't mind. And the tickets won't go to waste. I don't know. I can get home by myself. I'm not a kid. I'm going to be okay. Careful now. Careful. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Well, good afternoon. Oh. I came to see how you've been doing. How are you feeling? Anya, hello. Hi, thanks for coming. See, Mom's completely powerless. Like Arnold Trout. Can't even make it to the bed myself. Well, not old. And not a trout. Everything will be just fine. I'm... And soon, by the way. The surgery's already scheduled for Monday morning. I'm not worried about myself, you know. It's Pasha. He has to deal with it all. Young and promising, but he has to muck around with me with no time to himself. Mom, come on. You're sounding like a broken record again. Don't you worry, Miss Maria. I can... I can keep an eye on him. Oh, Anya, that would make me so happy, huh? What time are you done today? Today? Actually, I'm already done today. Why? Well, go take a walk with Pasha. The weather is wonderful outside. But, Mom, I'd like to spend time with you. The weather is nice. Don't sit in a stuffy ward. Pasha, go for a walk. I'm tired. I want to rest now. Go now. No, Sophia. Unfortunately, I don't see any changes in your husband's MRI. I know. I can tell from his state. I'm sorry for bothering you. I know you've done so much for us already. You know what? We will send him to a health resort. Yes, I'll ask him to start filling out paperwork first thing tomorrow. Oh, thank this you. This is totally free of charge. And look, I'll make a reservation for you as well. You're so pale. If he loses you, who's going to watch after him? Hey, what's wrong with Sophia? What's the matter? Sophia, here, look at me, look at me. Sophia, Sophia. Here, like that. <laughs> when did you last eat? Well, in the morning, I had some tea. Hmm, I see. This is for the lady. Oh no, thanks. I can't eat another bite, I'm too full. Sophia. As a doctor, I'd like to tell you that eating food is a vital necessity. Well, but I can't eat anymore, really. You just make an effort. 
Hmm. I haven't been to a restaurant with a man in ages. <laughs> well, I didn't mean it that way. I'm sorry. That's the shop I work at. I got a job as a cashier, close to home, flexible schedule, but I'm actually a chef. Wow, a chef? Yes. And you don't like eating by yourself? Well, it's not that interesting to cook just for me. Well, as a doctor, I apparently have to start watching over you. Huh? Oh boy, you can't even imagine how I would like someone to watch over me. Well, I'll walk the rest on my own. Right, fine. All the best. Thank you for everything. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh my god, what an amazing tenor he was. I literally still have goosebumps from his voice. I'm very glad you liked it. I haven't been anywhere in ages. I'm just remembering my youth, when Oleg and I used to go to all the premieres. Do you like the opera? To tell you the truth, I nearly fell asleep and started snoring. Almost embarrassed you in front of the whole theater. <laughs> <laughs> Social life suits you well. <laughs> does it? It does. Hello, mister. Would you like to buy your wife some flowers? Excuse me, we're not married. Listen, why don't we actually get some flowers for Ira? For Ira? Which ones? What do you mean? Her favorite ones. Ira loves roses. Red roses. Oh. Red roses. Which one? Let's take all of them. Mm. <laughs> and what flowers do you like? Fadim, I like lilies, but you should remember your wife's favorite flowers. Ah, oh, hold on. Uh, hello? Yes, Ina, hi. What? Uh... No, he told me he was working late today. Isn't he? Mm hmm. Are you at the hospital? Yes. Uh, I mean, no. I left long ago. I called Oleg because I needed to clarify some issues for tomorrow, but he's not answering. Uh huh. Ina, what's going on? Nothing's going on. Uh, everything's fine. I'm just lost today. The day has been hellish since this morning. Tamara, I have to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <clears throat> Shall we have dinner? No, we better get back home. It's late and, uh... Well, I, I want to go home. Something happened? Yes. Oleg's not picking up his phone. He's probably asleep.
Mom, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just smelling this new cologne I bought for your dad. Oh. Oh, all right, okay. <sighs> wow. Listen, I didn't dare ask yesterday when Vadim was here, but what's up with him? I'm shocked as well. Listen, it's better late than never. That's right. Can I borrow something nice for tomorrow? Pasha? Really? Oh. It sucks that out of all the men in the world, you choose Pasha, the narcissist. That guy only thinks for himself and no one else. He's not actually like that. He is like that. I'm telling you. And he always was. No. No. Believe me, no. Anya. Over time, beauty fades and will pass by. And you'll have to think of something else. Have a backup plan. What will you and Pasha have in common in the future? Think about it. Try this one on. Well, we'll have gorgeous children. As beautiful as he is. No, this is too small. Yeah, right. I'm such a fat cow. Nothing fits Take me it anymore. Off, it's so annoying. Come here. Anyway, you don't know him. He's, he's gentle and caring oh. and he's devoted. I don't understand what the problem is. We've agreed on everything, but they wouldn't sign the contract. Rita, that's because this is a kid store. They expect creativity from us and are afraid to sign the contract. Look, I've done a PR campaign for them before. I really don't want to mess this up. Why? Well, because I don't know anything about children. Mm. And besides, you're... you're much gentler. Look, why don't you just mm. come in, negotiate the contract with them, and close <laughs> the deal? I'm sure you love children. <laughs> Fine, I'll sign the contract with my rainbow magic, and you'll give me a raise. <laughs> I'll be right back. I've got a lot of expenses now. The surgery, the hospital, it all costs money. And then I'll have to take care of mom. Hire a nurse for her. I? I thought your Anya was about to become a nurse. Anya's a good girl, and she's helping me a lot. Don't talk about her like that. <laughs> I'll go make us some coffee. Hello. Ina, are you coming? Hey, Tamara, I'm sorry, I'm rushing. I've registered us for four o'clock. Where's Oleg? I saw him getting ready for a meeting. I promised I would be there tonight. I'll try not to be late. Bye. I'm totally coming. Ina, hold on, sorry. I, I have to leave now. See you in the salon, okay? Bye. Sophia, who is that man staring at you from over there for more than 10 minutes? Don't turn around abruptly. He could be a maniac. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're having guests today, so I decided to pick up some things. You can take the discounted mayonnaise then. Your wife will thank you for this. Okay. I actually came to visit you. There's another shop closer to my house. Your cheeks are flushed now. <laughs> You're making me blush. Can you go faster? Talk all night long, but after work, as uh, long as you wish. I'm There's sorry. a line, if you haven't noticed. Well, thanks a lot. All the best. Goodbye. Oh, Oleg, the change. Do you plan to work today or what?
Sophia, are you dumb or something? I don't get it. He's a chief surgeon, and he's clearly hitting on you. Look at you, you're 30. And what have you seen in this life, except hospitals and caring for a disabled husband? So tell me, you haven't had a man in three years. That's a long time. Andre drained all the passion from you. Instead of dying quietly like he should, he'll survive us. Lita, what are you talking about? Am I not right? Or don't you like getting attention from men your own age? Well, to tell you the truth, I like it very much. Hmm. But this embarrasses me even more. And don't you dare let him manipulate you. He has a wife and family. So? You have a family too. If he was happy with his family, he wouldn't be coming after you. Listen, I went completely insane and followed Oleg. It seemed like he was buying stuff for the dinner. Can you imagine? He wanted to help me. Us women, we're all stupid. I used to drive myself crazy too, getting myself in a state when I suspected Slava. But in your case, he actually had a mistress. And what's the use? I came to find out about it and tormented myself. And I wasted half my life, trying to hold it all together. And then he left me anyway. I should have just sent him away back then and not made any more excuses for him. Send him away? Well, you know, Ina, I'm not sure I would have been able to send him away, I think. And I couldn't either. I'm not that clever. We are all wise except for when it comes to ourselves. It's better to try and not destroy yourself than to live in these sordid lies. Life's too short, anyway. Dr. Oleg, how did it go? Well, you can relax. Everything went fine. <sighs> Dr. Oleg, when can I see my mom? Well, Mrs. Maria will be resting in recovery for at least until tomorrow. You don't mm. need to worry about her, and that's it. Relax. The worst part is over. Thank you so much. <sighs> Anya, thank you so much for everything you've done for me and my mom. You know, I really don't want to go home alone. Well, do you want me to come with you? Yeah. since the first grade. <laughs> I know. Yes, I had a very difficult surgery today. At some point, I thought we were going to lose her. But thank God, everything worked out just the way we planned it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we did everything right. I'm very tired, but I'll... Be home soon. I uh, sure. Bye. Dr. Oleg. I didn't... I didn't know how to thank you, so... I went and got you this. Mm. How do I look? Oh, wow. Let's go. Superb, right? Ira, make sure you support Vadim, okay? Defending your thesis is real challenging business. He's been worried about it the whole month. Oh, come on, Mom. Why even talk about it? What else are wives for? Sasha, Mama's leaving. 
Mom, when are you and Dad coming back? We'll come back late tonight. Do what Tamara says and be a good boy. He's a perfect child. He's perfect. Sasha, we're gonna go for a walk now, right? Let's go. Come here. Bye, I'm leaving. Bye. This is a very strong paper, really. I would not be surprised at all if they granted your doctorate right away. Congratulations. As research advisor, I say this is a huge success. My dear friend, I have nothing to do with this. This has only ever been Igor's achievement. Igor, See, my congratulations. You. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Great. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Mm, I Pretty love amazing. salmon, but tilapia is good too, you know? It's like. A personal one. I wrote it about eight years ago for the woman I loved who chose another man over me. My only question is. How could Vadim have hidden from us such a beautiful wife for so long? Mm? <laughs> В серебре этой осени Пасмурной с проседью Падал с небес этот день Я не смог удержать тебя В холоде на Ты превратила нас в тень Я и не знал, что весь мир Может рухнуть за пять секунд Я боюсь открыть глаза В этой пустоте, где нет тебя Hello, Kolya. And goodbye. Wait. Let me go. Hold on. Don't go. I saw you in my dreams last night, and here we are. I've never even tried to see you over these seven years. I have never bothered you, but this today is a sign. I can't. Is there a problem here? Uh, no. This man has just confused me with somebody else. Yeah, I did. Uh, let's go. I went over and hung curtains at Iris today. Everything's almost ready for the move. Great. Look at it from another perspective. You'll finally have a chance to get some rest. You've been killing yourself with this remodeling. Tamara. Yeah? Are we going to the lake tomorrow to feed the ducks? Do you know how much they love bread? Well, of course we're going. Once Ira and Vadim leave, they're going to take Sasha with them. I've just been feeling so lonely lately. Don't go making things up. Are they going to the moon? They're moving one street over. By the way, speaking of moving, I have to go out of town uh, at the beginning of next week because we're having a conference. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to help me with the move. Well, I have to present my report. I'll make it to the housewarming. I understand. Fine. What comforts me a little is that Vera and Vadim seem to be sorting sure, things out. Sure, that's the most important. 
Yegor Sergeyevich's candidate, is going to the U.S. He's been offered a permanent position. This is how it goes, Ira. We keep teaching them, and they keep taking our knowledge to other countries. To the U.S.? How? Such is life. I don't understand it. They invite a graduate right after his thesis presentation, but they don't invite my husband, who is the head of a lab and works so hard. No, Ira, any lab in the world would be thrilled to get your husband on their staff. But he said it himself that he was opposed to moving. He wants to stay here, you know? I support your decision, but Vadam keeps that entire lab going. Yeah, sure. Tamara, I'm not gonna finish this on time. I'm sorry. When were you going to tell me the truth? What truth is that? Why did you keep lying to me and telling me that they didn't invite you to America? You knew that I had a dream of leaving this place, right? You knew that. Ira. Do you love me? What does that have to do with anything? Everything. I see. You're gonna beat around the bush. Great. Yes, I don't want to move to America. Because I know that it won't solve absolutely anything between us. It will only make the problems we already have worse. But we pretend that we don't have any problems at all. But they're here. Ah, you've been lying to me for seven years. I thought you were an ambitious scientist and that we had a better future for us. Yeah, yeah, sure, someone will be here. Oleg, listen, right, I'm going. I can't see you off. This is the furniture delivery. for God's sake. I can perfectly make it to the station myself. That's it. Bye. I'll call you as soon as I get okay. there. Okay. Have a nice trip. Thanks, bye. Come on in. And please, don't worry about it. Your husband is supervised by professionals in the sanitarium, so it's all fine. Thank you for organizing all of this. My pleasure. You know, frankly, I'm insanely happy that we're going to be here together. Just the two of us, instead of running from room to room like children. Make yourself at home. There's a kitchen, a bathroom, a toilet, a vanity. It's wonderful. It smells of wood and family. This is how it used to smell in my house. What's wrong? I feel uncomfortable. You know, your wife's presence has felt so strongly here. I can't do it. I, I feel like a thief who is being watched and is just about to get caught. I Honey, just can't. There's only the two of us. You and me and nobody else. Oleg. Who am I to you? I don't know. I don't know. I know mommy is going 
to be so surprised that we brought all these boxes in here, all on our own. Right. Dad, I'm going to go downstairs to get the toys. Sasha, just don't pick up anything heavy. Sasha likes it here so much. And you? I don't. You don't? Uh, come here, help me. Tamara, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant to say. You've done everything with such impeccable taste, with such love. It's probably just that I don't want to move. It's empty and lonely in here. Right. Those are some of the worst words a designer could hear. Uncomfortable, right? Yep. Sasha. Where do I put the toys? They're in the back room, remember? Go. <laughs> Tamara, I never told you before. But you know that my mother died when I was very young. So I don't really know what it's like to have a family, or even to have a home, when it's cozy and cheerful and that smell of coffee. And in your house, everything is real. Do you know what I mean? I know, Vadim. But as the mother of your wife, I'm somewhat ashamed to hear such words. It simply means that I haven't taught Ira how to be a good wife. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you what I feel, and it turned out that I offended everyone. Well... Ira! Wait. Why are you here? I, uh... wanted you to know that I've traveled a lot and around the world with my band and I made my dreams become a reality all by myself. But do you remember our dreams? I've stopped dreaming a long time ago. And I remember you dreaming about riding around Paris on the bike and dancing flamenco in Granada. Well, when I saw you at the restaurant, I understood everything. You're very beautiful. And your dress is expensive. And the husband... He's a good man. Yeah. He seems like a nice man. That's for sure. But there's sadness in your eyes. Are you happy? Just asking you to play with the band. We need an accordion. Please tell me you're happy. Tell me you want me to leave. That you're better off without me. And I'll leave. throw it away. No, never. Oh, No, of course not. You needed it for me with your own two hands. Daddy looked at all these beads back mm -hmm. then and decided that you had to become a surgeon. Yes, oh, right. It was at that flies. precise moment. <laughs> uh, oh, I remember this thing. I do, I do. I remember the grand prize for the best duo with Kolya. Right. That was my last competition. And also the end of me. Playing concerts all together. And all I ever dream about is family. <sighs> I would give up my career in a heartbeat. If only Pasha said the word. If Pasha said the word? Are you really serious? Where is your Pasha? 
He's been leading you on for a month, and now you're going to sacrifice your entire life for him? <sighs> well, he's just busy. And I'm not sacrificing anything, by the way. Take mom, for example. My mom. She never worked a day in her life, and she's happy. No, girls, I think that a career is very important for a woman. I do. Your children grow up, and then what? You're left alone with nothing. Well, you have our dad. And besides that, you have no regrets. Well, you're leaving now. And then Anya will get married. And then leave, and then what? What do I do with my life? I'll have plenty of spare time. It's too late for me now to go looking for a job. Where can I go at this age? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign up for bingo at a hall. But actually, girls... I'm really proud of my family. And I don't regret anything. Catch! I'd really like to put Grandma's vase somewhere here. Where? What do you think? Right over there? The one that's been oh. collecting dust in the cottage. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's my vase, by the way. I used to keep all my little secrets in there. Too bad. It was my gift from Grandma for my graduation. Oh, girls, you don't little. start. It would look really great here. Why don't we go to Romanovka right now, hmm? Just the three of us. Buy sausages, roast them, do stuff like that. I'm up for it. We haven't done anything together in forever. I'll be right back. I can't, unfortunately. I have to go to the hospital now. Oh, come on. And I promised. Listen, there's a change of plans. They're calling me from school right now for a dress rehearsal. Mom, I'm sorry. That's just fine. We'll do it next yeah, time, right? Yeah, see you. Yeah. Bye. Call me. Hmm. So I'll just go to Romanovka by myself.
Kartanov, symptoms? Patient is female, 45 years, admitted by... Oh my gosh, Ina! Oh. Here. like this, Anya. What? What happened? Uh, I'm pregnant. Uh, what should I do? Have you told Pasha? No. No, we haven't seen each other since Mrs. Maria was discharged. He, he, he has no time. He won't even... <laughs> he won't even pick up the phone now. Mom, the child will... The child will have no father. God, I'm begging Mom. you, please don't cry, all right? Do you hear me? That's it. What am I going to tell Dad? You don't understand. What am I going to tell him? He won't respect me anymore, Mom. Dear Lord, Anya, what are you talking about? Who the hell cares about what your father thinks? <laughs> I'm home. Hello. Sweetie, go watch some cartoons. Just breathe. I kept shouting outside by the door, and no one responded. <gasps> That's perfectly fine, of course. What's going on? Tamara? <laughs> Stop scaring me. I'm pregnant. I'm sorry, what? Hey, Oleg. <laughs> Say something now, Dad. Speak up. Speak up, please. And... And the father? Pasha? Pasha. And where is he? Pasha doesn't want to see me anymore. Wait, wait, what? He doesn't want to see you? Uh, Oleg. Is that how it is? Pretty interesting. Well, Pasha had better not cross my path because... Because if he does, I'll explain to him how a man needs to behave in such situations. Who's crying? What's all this for? We should be celebrating. This is happiness. A child, mm -hmm. you see. Who is the one sniveling? 
We'll raise this kid without Pasha, right? Mm -hmm. I'll make arrangements in the hospital mm -hmm. where you'll give birth and I'll deal with the university. We'll take off an entire year and everything will be fine, okay? Maltsev himself will deliver your baby, all right? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you. <laughs> Here. Ah, oh, thank you. Has she calmed down yet? Don't you worry about this. Anya will give birth and continue her studies and we'll raise the baby. Oh, like, please don't touch me. Of course, I understand. You got so tired today. You know, you should stay in bed tomorrow. Don't see me off. the rest of the documents prepared by this evening. Goodbye. Well, Pasha, I want to congratulate you. You did some really great work. Thank you. But this is not just my achievement. We work as a team. Pasha, modesty doesn't adorn a middle rank manager. <laughs> it elevates him. You're shining quite bright. Have you heard that the vice president's seat is vacant? Yes. Well, I'm planning to take it. There's no one else better suited for it. And do you know who'll become my new deputy? The hero of the day, I guess. It's possible. <laughs> I'm so glad. And you? Are you glad as well? Am I glad? Almost. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you because you won't guess it yourself. We've been dating mm -hmm. for two years already, and I think it would be nice to legalize our relationship. Moreover, our boss is obsessed with family values. Well, we'll legalize it right now. Well, what did he tell you? Nothing in particular. He told me he'll send all the documents on Thursday. All right, Rita. Go to the restaurant and start without me. It seems that I'm about to have a not very pleasant conversation right now. It won't take longer than five minutes. All right. See you soon. Hello? Why aren't you answering your phone, Pasha? Anya, don't start any drama, okay? Sorry, but there will be drama. <sighs> I'm pregnant. What? Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure it's mine? What do you mean? Of course it is. Okay, wait. Hold on. Let me think about this. Uh, you probably need money. I'll give you money for the abortion and whatever else you need. I'll pay for everything, don't worry. You're a doctor. You probably know where to go better than I do, what? right? What? What are you saying? This is our child. What are you talking about, Pasha? Pasha! Oh, he's saying that he used you when he needed you. And now he's dumping you because he has no need for you anymore. But I guess you don't know Pasha. Rita, I, I, I don't think you understand. You're right. I don't understand. Rita, wait! Pasha! Help me, please. What do I do? What am I going to do? Pasha! Rita, wait! Pasha! Rita! You know I was having a hard time. And Anya was very supportive. Yes, yes, and you thanked her by giving her a baby. That's genius, Pasha. What gratitude. Rita, don't. Listen, while Anya was wiping your snot, I was working at the office like a mad woman for the two of us. So I won't have it. You won't make a fool out of me now. Rita, don't you humiliate me. 
thanks for having my back during a difficult moment. But let's not forget that I'm a great marketer and you would have never closed such a high profile client without me. Go to hell. Okay, let's be honest about this. I'm a good manager. And I hope that our personal relations won't stand in the way of my career. Listen, Pasha, you lied to me. You also lied to a young, innocent girl who's in love with you. You will step over anyone, and that is painful and scary. No, I'm don't. sorry. How's Anya? She's fine. It seems she's calmed down a bit. Oleg was very supportive of her. Of course. I was really afraid that she would go off and do something stupid, you know? And how about you? <sighs> Ina, tell me. Did you know about Oleg? I didn't know a thing. I started suspecting something when Sophia started coming around the office. If I had known, I wouldn't have told you. There's nothing good in it for your family. The man will have his affair, but you won't forgive or forget. <sighs> it's just better not to know. I thought we were friends. And we are friends. That's why I'm here. Tamara, cry or scream if you want to. You can vent all your fury on me if you need to, but you have to be strong at home. And you shouldn't give up on yourself. <sighs> I'm one who knows how that feels. Inna. It hurts so much. So much. I know. Tamara, everything will pass. You'll see. It just takes some time, but it will all pass. That's it? He officially told me to go to hell. He chose Rita over me. And I'm officially a single mother. <sighs> My god, Anya, what kind of attitude is that? You're talking like an old lady. Single mother. So what? Maybe it's even better. Well, a marriage wouldn't be any good without love. Uh, I know. And I'm not going to give up. Anya. What? He has to take responsibility for what he did. No, hold on. Wait, I don't understand. What are you gonna do? I'll go see Mrs. Maria. To Maria, really? That's right. Are you kidding no, me? No, I'm not. Do, do you want his mother to force him to marry you? Yes. Have you gone crazy? Anya, do you think that you'll be happy in life? Oh, and you're the ideal, huh? Me? Dad fell in love with you right away? He's been waiting on you hand and foot? No, really, I'm also trying, but I can't seem to do it. I'm sorry. What do I have to do with any of this? Perhaps Pasha just isn't your man. Maybe you haven't met your soulmate I've yet. I've already met my soulmate. I just have to engineer the relationship. Engineer it? Yes. That's nonsense. I don't understand what you're saying now is just embarrassing. And concerning Maria. Do you even understand that she hasn't fully recovered from her surgery yet? And she has nothing to do with any of this. Sure, nothing, nothing. We'll see. Anya. Anya? Awesome. We'll leave it like that. I have more exciting news for you guys. We've been invited to go on tour in Germany. <laughs> awesome! We haven't been anywhere for a year! <laughs> yeah, dude! 
That's so cool! Right on! Tour of five German cities. Accommodation, free food, all expenses paid. Right after Christmas. Ira, what's the matter? My family doesn't know yet that I'm in a band again, let alone with you. I haven't told them yet. I'm really sorry, but I'm not sure that I'll ever be able to go on tour with you, you know? What do you mean? Are you gonna let us down? What's the matter with you, Ira? Oh. The German producer's crazy about you. We'll get nowhere without you. Ira. This is what you've been dreaming about. Music. And traveling. Right? You record at the studio. You're invited to play tours. Are you willing to give it all up? Are you willing to do that for your fake family? The one you're not happy with anymore? Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> I think Yara just got here. I'll go meet her. It's delicious. Let's put this in the middle. Also, have you noticed how comfortable it is here? Finally, you're here. <sighs> Vadim, you and I need to talk. Fine, fine. We'll talk, just not right now. Come on, come on. Did you hear me? Ira, everyone is at the table. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Well, I think we have to start. Here, here, here. Here she is, at last. We're hungry, Ira. Come here, faster. My friends, my dear ones, let's have a drink. I want to make a toast. I'd like to celebrate and raise my glass for our beautiful family in general. And also for your mom, Tamara, in particular. You won't find a better wife and a better mother in the whole world, in the entire universe even. <laughs> I'm drinking this and hoping that the next project of this genius designer mm. will be an arrangement of our family house in Romanovka. Right? Yes, Dad. What a wonderful To mom. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> to you, Mom. To Tamara. To you. Half an hour before the spring, bar two. Dad. Here, drink this. Drink, drink. What happened? What happened? Yes, right. What happened? Tell me. What's going on? I can see it. There's something wrong with you. Oleg, you're cheating on me. You're cheating on me. That's disgusting. But do you know what the worst part is? You're lying. You lie to me. You're just paranoid. Will you stop it already? Calm down. Will you, you stop? You need to relax. Do you know what I want to tell you? 
I would probably be able to get over the cheating somehow. I don't really know. It would have been extremely difficult for me, but I'd do it somehow. But to get over your lies, I just- Tamara, I told you, I'm not cheating on you. What do I have to do to prove it to you? Do you want to know what hurts me the most? What hurts me the most is that in seconds, you have destroyed everything I dedicated my life to, absolutely right, everything. fine, you can think of anything you want. Anything. Please, I don't even care anymore. You can even feel pity for yourself if you want to. It's your right to do that, I mean it. Just remember, I can always arrange a place for you in Krapovitsky's department. You'll be lying there for some time, calming your nerves and getting some much needed rest. You know, Oleg, you shouldn't be a doctor. You should be acting on a stage. I almost believed you. Give me a break. Come here. Look me in the eyes. Look me in the eye. And tell me you don't have another woman. I don't have another woman. <laughs> I'm taking Mother home. She's not feeling well. 